Greetings to all. Welcome to the channel Simtech Zero Five. In last few videos, I talked about the dynamic behavior of the system. In which conditions of the loading, I can consider that load as a dynamic load. Is cyclic load is always a dynamic load, or can we consider one cyclic load as a static load? So such those type of questions answered in previous few videos. Apart from we talked about different type of amplitude application and how we can utilize to apply in any type of step, like in general static step, in implicit step, explicit step. It's depend. So let me show you my playlist. Okay, just search Simtech zero five. YouTube and here you have playlist. Okay, I always suggest to go through the playlist. In videos, you will find all the videos randomly. But if you go through the playlist, the videos are arranged sequentially in this playlist, especially Abacus Dynamic Analysis playlist. Okay. So here, this is the first video. As I told in first two videos, I talked about the dynamic system, forces, and lots of other important conceptual points. In third and fourth video, I talked about the amplitude, different type of amplitudes, and how we can utilize and apply. Fifth, sixth, and seventh video is totally about the implicit and explicit analysis. Difference application, how algorithm, especially the explicit algorithm works. If I solve any problem with the same technique, what will happen? These all things I explain in these three video. But after the introduction, I should introduce different type of methods to solve any dynamic system. Then I have to come to the implicit and explicit technique. So. The today's video is the connecting video that connect the introductory part to the advanced part. And after that, I already uploaded the quasi static analysis. In quasi static, also I need to upload one or two more video. So be in touch with this playlist. Let me continue. Okay, so now we are again on the PPT. So if I talk about the methods to solve any dynamic system, and here you can see the governing equation. Let me on the laser point. Mx double dot plus Cx dot plus Kx equal to some force. So to solve this governing equation, of course we can utilize the classical method. You may remember in our engineering mathematics book, we solve the second order differential equation by finding the complementary solution and particular solution. Of course, you can find out the solution in such way if your equation is quite simple. We can say second order or first order differential equation, as well as you have one or two equation, not the bunch of the equations. Then you can utilize the classical method. Dumel's integral also one of the technique that utilize a small sort impulse. Actually, it convert the applied force into small sort impulse, and then it superimpose the solution by connecting the also small small solutions. So, of course, that Dumel's integral also having lots of limitations. It cannot be applied to the non-linear problem because here we are going to utilize the superimposition condition. If it is non-linear, then we cannot superimpose the solutions. Transformation method in which we convert our differential equation into algebraic equation, but again, lots of limitations we have. And when problem become complex and complex, more degree of freedom involved. Then transformation become very hard. 
So last is our numerical method that can be utilized for any complex type of model with large degree of freedom and for both linear and non-linear system. Only we need what? Higher computational power if you have complex problem, large problem. So now we will talk about the numerical methods. In numerical methods, generally we talk about implicit and explicit always. Okay, here explicit direct integration and implicit direct integration is mentioned. I will explain what is that direct integration. But not only that, if you have dynamic problem and that dynamic problem is linear, then you can take advantage of this linearity. Linear dynamic step is available with Abacus. Similarly, if you have vibration type of problem, you can utilize the model based steady state harmonic response analysis and transient response analysis, response spectrum analysis, random response analysis and etc. Of course, the vibration analysis comes under the dynamic analysis, but you do not need to utilize always the implicit and explicit technique. You can use those random response and response spectrum analysis techniques. So, these two techniques, implicit and explicit technique, are direct solution procedure. Not only these, apart from implicit and explicit, the subspace method and steady state harmonic response analysis method, those are also comes under direct solution procedure. I will explain what is direct solution procedure, but just keep in mind these four techniques comes under direct solution procedure. Apart from these, we have model super superposition procedure. In that, we have all the vibration problem solution technique, like model based steady states, as I as I mentioned just before, transient response, random response analysis, spectrum analysis, com complex eigenvalue extraction, and all these things. This model superposition type of analysis is completely a different era. We will talk in separate video about these type of analysis. Here we are limited to direct solution procedure and especially we are concentrated on the implicit and explicit technique. And these implicit techniques use basically an operator that is known as the Newmark operator. That's why sometimes it is called beta Newmark method. And we are utilizing Abacus standard for the implicit technique. Or we can say the implicit technique is utilized within the Abacus standard. And the explicit technique utilized within the Abacus explicit by application of the central difference operator. Of course, you know the central difference operator. Why we use always central difference operator in Abacus explicit? It's a like a most stable operator for the explicit technique. In one research paper I found central difference explicit integration operator having greater stability reason as compared to the other operators. Greater stability reason it's mean what? It will stable in broader range, broader limit as compared to the other operator. Other operator may be forward operator backward difference operator so on. So that's why the explicit technique use the central difference operator. It is widely used in it. And similarly, if I talk about the beta new mark operator that used by the abacus is depend on the two constant alpha and beta and the value of the alpha beta the constants are different for the different conditions like for the transient fidelity it is different for the moderate dissipation it will be different and for the quasi static it will be different let me show you in the software so I am not going to create any part. I am directly switching to the step. Go to create. And here you have dynamic implicit. Create. Any of the time. 
and here you have application by default it is like uh, analysis product default so based on your boundary conditions model and material it will choose the suitable application do not worry about those transient fidelity moderate dissipation cross static in separate video i will talk about these three applications within the implicit technique but as i told you within the operator itself if you change the alpha and beta value then it become transient fidelity moderate dissipation quasi static likewise so alpha beta value in numark method numark operator is much important so let's search on the ppt again okay as i told you about the direct integration and just in previous slides in this slide i explained the implicit and explicit are the direct method what is the meaning of the direct integration the direct integration in simple language is like the equation of motion the governing equation not going to transform in any other form before the solution is scheme applied like it will remain as it is it will not transform in any other form and in the direct integration calculation of the response history or we can say the output is calculated for each step and then it is integrated for the particular time like you want to solve the event for the one second it going to be calculate in small small of increment like delta t 2 delta t 3 delta t and so on and this is the governing equation so for the each increment it will like mx double dot 1 cx dot 1 kx 1 and the load okay explanation of this increment process i already explained in one of my video in the same playlist you can go through so again explicit use the central defense operator that's why it is called central defense method also by explicit we can solve a quasi static problem also quasi static okay it should not be here let me just modify a few things quasi static techniques quasi static by explicit not this okay this is just wrong so quasi static we have in the explicit or we can say the quasi static problem you can solve by the explicit and similarly for the implicit that use the beta numark operator that's why it is called beta numark method we have transient fidelity moderate dissipation and quasi static why i am not considering quasi static here because we are talking about method to solve the dynamic system okay not the quasi static system and for the quasi static i already uploaded video based on the explicit technique increase load rate this is i increase load rate and the mass scaling okay and with implicit also we can solve the quasi static problem for that i will upload a video how this technique work and how we can utilize to solve the particular quasi static system yeah here we have one screenshot like i already explained this in the software the general governing equation looks like it looks very complex but actually it is very easy this particular term representing the mass matrix here this is representing the damping matrix and this representing the stiffness matrix and these are nothing but the forces okay so this is the volumetric force body force we can say this is the traction force on the surface here it is on the volume and this is the point load and here the u the vector u is representing the safe function and displacement factor multiplication of the safe function and displacement factor 
and strain vector can be defined by the B matrix into displacement vector. So, in simplest form, you can write down this equation likewise. If the steepness matrix is not constant, it is also depend on the displacement and velocity of the system, then you can rewrite this, this particular term as like function of u and u dot and the p actional. Okay, the p t is nothing but p actional. So, these two terms like damping and the steepness, these are the internal force and this is the external force. So, external force minus internal force, if we have difference between external force, applied force and internal force that resist by the material and system, then it can be compensated by the inertia. Like if you have one ball here and uh, you are going to apply a load or say initial velocity you are going to apply. And of course, the external force is higher than the internal force. Internal force will be the friction force, the energy that is stored by the system. And if we have difference in that, what will happen? This component, this object start moving. Okay, And this movement can be defined by the mass into acceleration. But in the static analysis, we do not have this term. And if we have the difference between internal and external force that cannot be solved by the static technique. Of course, if you want to move this particular part from here to here and you want to utilize say here you have one one component that you want to press using the second component. So, you cannot make the punch component as a free movement of this punch component should be restricted from the all direction okay and here in this downward direction we should apply a limiting value you cannot keep it as a free so that's all and uh, in next video i explain the explicit technique how it works then the graphical representation and the again complete explanation of the algorithm. So, I already uploaded video on that you can go through the video. So, again I am repeating always try to go with the playlist in my channel Syntax05. So, do not search videos from here you have to go with the playlist and in the playlist go with different different playlists like abacus dynamic playlist and uh, abacus playlist here we have for the massing we have massing in the hypermass playlist and in that i will upload this video after the part 2 okay because it's a intermediate connecting video between the introductory video and the advanced video so thank you again thank you for listening if you have any query questions you can put those questions in comment section i will try to answer and if you want to join the facebook community telegram community the link is available in description you are most welcome to join